The ancient Greeks used a mathematical concept they called the golden ratio or proportion to define beauty that would be most pleasing to the eye. They used this proportion in architecture and design. Later, artists like Leonardo da Vinci and Salvador Dali used the same proportion in their works. Even many crosses in cemeteries throughout the world follow the same most beautiful ratio. Chances are good that when your students think of beauty and that which is most pleasing to the eye, they aren't thinking of ratio and proportion. But this unit, which is inspired by the work of artist Chuck Close, might change that. We hope that your classes, while working with the golden proportion, will become more comfortable with ratio and percent. Comfort with these mathematical concepts gives any person a better way of seeing the world around him. With mathematical eyes and a solid knowledge of ratio, students will grow up to be better consumers. They'll know whether to buy a certain product in bulk, which gas company to choose, and even understand design better. They'll get it when it comes to things like tipping, proportions used in the health and insurance industries, or percentages shown on political graphs. They'll even be able to translate from the mathematical concept to a visual image or spoken word and back again. Their overall literacy will be dramatically improved. For that reason, understanding ratio, proportion, and percentage was included in the Ohio State Standards and is a valuable thing to be teaching. This unit is designed to support and focus your lessons. The unit begins with several PowerPoint presentations that introduce the concepts of ratio, unit rate, and proportion to your classes. These PowerPoints are supported with various activities and handouts that ask students to solve puzzles using their new knowledge. Your classes move on to the Fibonacci sequence and the golden ratio. They apply this to the Chuck Close artwork currently on display in the Akron Art Museum. Of course, complete instructions are included for both you and your classes. The final project asks students to use the same process on themselves or some willing teachers, friend, or staff member. Students won't realize they're practicing ratio and proportion skills as they determine whether or not their English teacher's face is mathematically beautiful. As always, we've included formative and summative assessments, teacher resource pages, student handouts, a hot list, a vocabulary sheet, and pretty much everything you'll need except the digital camera, the classroom, and the nerve to put your own face up for examination. We hope you have fun with this unit on ratio and proportion.